Five, you guys rule. We are the best. Awesome. International. <laughs> you are international. Are you some kind of celebrity? Who is this? Is this Tom Hanks calling from Gitmo like you wants us to believe? <laughs> Hello. Tom, are you there? Hello. They're not saying Hello? anything. They're Hello? Hello? Hello. Oh, hello. Can you hear me, Karen? Yes. Karen. Yes. Uh, hello. Hang on. I'm, I'm I'm hearing two things here. Sorry. You gotta Can shut you the me? YouTube off. <laughs> you gotta shut the YouTube off. Mute your talk. watch page. Oh yeah. Sorry. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Let me just turn it off. Uh, leave. Leave. All right. Can you can you hear me now? We can hear you the whole time, man. What's up? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Hi there. <laughs> you I'm I sorry, I, it's really late at night for me here, so I'm I'm sorry about that. Um it's Dave. Dave, oh, Dave. What's up? Yes. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> I had no idea it was you. What's going on, buddy? How's it going, Dave? Um, well, Dave I, Murphy. I, no I was I was one on being answered to get, I, I thought somebody else has been called um anyway so yes I, i've just been listening to you and um uh I, I i used to avoid the mandela effect because i thought it was ridiculous um until i i saw um c3po having a silver leg and that was yeah. uh that was the killer for me you know because yeah. um, i was uh, the biggest star wars fan ever and uh i even tried to make a um a c3po um fancy dress costume mm -hmm. so i i poured over every single picture i could find of c3po and uh, and literally when when somebody said he's got a silver leg i was like no way and uh, i looked for myself and sure enough oh, um and insane. just recently this um a couple of days ago with this thing with beirut um i'm pretty good at spelling you know I'm pretty good at spelling, yeah. so I, I went to write Beirut, and, um, and and all of a sudden I said, well, hang on, somebody spelled it differently, somebody spelled it wrong. And I sort of went and checked, and it was like, well, okay, maybe I got it wrong. But, you know, it didn't occur to me that it was a Mandela effect until you mentioned it. So, yes, um, I'm, I'm hooked. Wow. Awesome. You know, and it, it stinks, too, because we did that whole interview, but I didn't even get to get into the Mandela effect with you at the time. W were you already realizing it at that point, or? Uh, yes, I've even got a, a theory actually um, about oh. it. You know, you the really the whole CERN thing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, they uh, yeah they're sort of um, alluding to it, but I think it's more to do with um, D wave, the D wave mm -hmm. computer, mm -hmm. um, because CERN CERN has got a D wave computer. Yeah. All right. So um, when you when you crack open that thing. Um, it's not a computer. It literally isn't a computer. Yeah, it's a it's a freezer with the, the it all comes down to one particular chip, and mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. So um, they they when when you listen to what they um, how they describe how the D wave works, um, they basically say that um, there are multiple universes, you know, with multiple pers uh, pop, um, possibilities going on, and the D wave reaches into a universe where the answer is, is has already been found, and they mm -hmm. pull that answer back into this universe. Okay. Um, now I don't think that's that's really what's going on. I think there isn't multiple universes. I think there are multiple probabilities. Yes. And one particular probability has been has been sort of um, concentrated down into reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and this. D wave computer goes off and pulls back a different probability into this reality and kind of unpacks it. And in that, with that probability being sort of brought back in, it has a couple of little details different. And and all of a sudden we're we're now in a different re, uh, different reality because a new probability has been brought sort of condensed down into reality. Yeah. Um, yeah. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I'm, 
I'm not going to mind these things. It's, well, it's, like, yeah, it's, also, movie, it's, uh, it's also interesting in the theories, and it's just it's it's wow. I'm gl- I'm so glad to hear you speak on it. And you've been looking at it a bit. What what are some of your other big ones, Dave? Besides C three PO, what what are the other ones that kind of shook you? Um, mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh yeah. That that no, I mean I I've, I mean I'm not a, I'm not a big a white fan or anything, but. Uh, but you know, I I just think you remember mirror mirror on the wall, and some of you said no, it's magic mirror. I was like, no, no way. So I went back, and uh, so sure enough, it's magic mirror, and I could not believe it. It's like no, no. I mean, everybody knows it's mirror mirror on the wall. I um, definitely remember yeah, mirror yeah, mirror. Was, uh, sorry, I said I definitely remember yeah. mirror mirror on the wall as well. I, I think any everybody must remember remember that that was that was like uh that was like one of the uh the big moments in the, in the film i think you know oh it's the, so the, the iconic the and, in front. and 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 the book still has the residue but what the deniers will do is they say oh we just all remember it from the book i bet with the 300 people in the chat right now if i asked everybody if they learned mirror mirror from the book or the movie they would all say the cartoon animated disney movie i never even read the book yeah no, nor me. Um, the 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 other one. Um, so there's there's I reckon there's three. Um, the other one was um, was again the, the Bible. Um, the where the lion shall lie down with the lamb. Yeah. Now, of course. That's always. I've never again before I started researching the Bible. I you know I never even looked at it, but for some reason I always. I always knew it was the lion shall lie down with the lamb, um, but but to to go back and find it's the wolf, it's like that doesn't seem to make sense anymore, you know. Um, doesn't make and sense. Because there's lots of pictures around of lions lying down with lambs. I've never seen a picture of a wolf lying down with a lamb. Oh, I so, put yeah. tons of residue together. There's all sorts of children's songs. There's uh, churches that are named it. Bars. I mean, it's just everywhere, sculptures, artwork, you know, all mm. the drawings. Uh, I showed a bunch of tattoos that people have tattooed on their skin of it. And and they'll sit, so a mm. lot of them will be specific and say Isaiah 11, 6 right on it, you know, because people will try and say you got mm-hmm. it from somewhere else and all this. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm also of the opinion that, um, that, they are actually using, uh, and this this is all speculation, of course. They are actually using an ability to um, not only look into the future, but uh, but actually um, change the timeline. Yeah. And I, I I really really think that um, that nine eleven was was them changing the timeline. Because I, I think we all had a collective view of what, um, what our future was. Yeah. You know, this yeah. um, almost sort of like a utopia type place. And I think they skewed away from that collective view um, by implementing 9-11. Um, I don't think it was ever meant to happen. But uh, I, I really think that they have some technology that they allow, they can look into the future and and say, well, at this point, we can make a change there, and you know, we can we can get our our plan into operation. Um, if if that if that's the case, Dave, what, like you know how there's all different changes. Obviously, there's you know geography, movies, this that. When some of the changes are more like mundane, like you know, like say Ed McMahon not working for Publishers Clearinghouse, and now it's always been American Family Publishing. Like, why do you think they would change those type of little things? Um, why would that be important? Do you think? Do you think I, I don't think they do. I don't think they do. I think what happens is they, they make a particular change, which could be something like, um, you know, somebody doesn't show up for work or, yeah. or some little change like that. And it causes ripples. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and those ripples turn change to little things like the names of, uh, of you know, products or, or whatever, but they're just ripples of, uh, of the changes they make. Yeah, um, and we see, we we you know we I think also that they might be releasing those those ripples so that we don't notice the bigger changes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, um, Beirut could be could be one of the big changes. Yeah, absolutely, 
and I it must have just happened. I know I don't see Beirut in the headlines all the time, but that's a very noticeable change. I really think it just happened. Just a lot of these changes happen right before there's headlines that have to do with these agencies or nations or whatever the change is. I don't think it's by accident at all. No, or yeah, or or what it is is Beirut. The the main change could be one of the things that they've released out to 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 distract us from something to do with it. I don't know. I mean. Um, yeah. But but something's going on, and uh, you know we're, we're I think we're just starting to to, to notice it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, and I I always say that we're not we're not um, we're not truthers. We're noticers. That's what yes. that's what sets us <laughs> apart. We notice stuff. You know. Yeah. Well, Dave, yeah. Anyway, you know, I'm, observing. I'm, a lot of the truths haven't really been hidden that deep. They're just in front of us, and we need to open our eyes and then and look through the veil more and more and more, and just observe it. Yeah. Well, that's 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 what I mean. It's it's noticing. I mean, we all see the stuff, but it's uh, it's it's you know the the the, the uh, um, distinction is that you know we see just the same things that everybody else does, but we notice stuff about it. Um, exactly. And just just on a side note. Um, uh, in in England, there was a, a show called Lewis. Um, no, I never I never really watched it, but uh, I knew of it. Um, and th- this was in the in the nineties. Uh, yeah. It happened in the nineties, and the first episode was about Adrenochrome. Wow! And they they actually mentioned they mentioned the the, the drug, right? And they 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 kind of described it as. Uh, you know, a drug that could only be taken from, um, you know, a, a human, you know, but they didn't say children, of course, but, um, but they, they literally said it, you know, put it right in front of everybody's faces, but none of us noticed it because we didn't, I don't think we had the mindset to believe that something could have been real. No. Yeah. You wouldn't think that that could be real. It's so sinister. And so, yeah, you definitely, you, our minds weren't yeah. ready to even accept that type of thought. Just like the people now, they're yeah. not ready to accept the type of thought that the corona thing might be a hoax. You know, they just can't even go there. No, and and this is the thing: we're we're noticers, but you you have to have the mindset to be to be able to notice stuff. You know, yeah. there's, there's probably lots of things that you know we um, over the years um, that we watched in in old films that we you know we just skip through, and uh, you know if we if we go back. We will see them plain as day now. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I don't want to. I don't want us to, uh, you know, monopolize this. Just thought I'd uh, uh, say hello and uh, put my, my my two pence in. Awesome, yeah, Dave. thanks for calling, Dave. No problem. Um, keep it up. Great show. All right. Thank buddy. you. Thank you. Have a good right, night. Bye. Bye. Awesome surprise. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, and interesting awesome. take on on the theory of what's causing the Mandela effect. I haven't heard it described that way about the D Wave yeah. computer yet. So that's something. A lot of interesting, interesting theories. Dave has a really good theory. Bob had a really good theory. And for those of you that are still denying the Mandela effect, look at all the smartest people around you. Know that it's real. I'm just saying. So let's go to break on that note, Karen. Okie dokie. I have a little music ready. This is sung by Rose and written by Steffi. And we will be back in about five.